very strong night event program set down for decision at Club Angle on Saturday night where the running of the New South Wales Trotters Derby will highlight the card along with the Golden Easter Egg which was delayed a few weeks after the big washout here. As far as the Derby is concerned, Tough Love taking out the Oaks last week in fine fashion. She takes on the boys this time around. I think she will remain the one to beat. Looking for specials in race two. Number nine, he's chiming. A newcomer to the powerful Jason Grimson team. He's chiming. A very talented performer. Only likely raced as a race for a month or so after finishing six behind aphorism at Bathurst during the carnival. I think he's chiming. Despite the fact he's drawn wide, Sophia Arvidsson to take the drive, which is very interesting. I think he's chiming. will be in with a big show as far as race two is concerned. And moving over to race six, I thought come say hi from the Belinda McCarthy team, a very quality filly, come say hi. She finished third in the gold bracelet behind Soho Rhapsody, then second behind Just Hope in the Wagga Oaks. She's tried exceptionally well, come say hi. I think she's ready to run a very bold race. So she is definitely the one to beat. In fact, I do think she is one of the better bets on the card. Over to race seven, the handicap event, the Bull Eye Trotters Cup. And I like the performance of Gus and Murray last week in finishing second behind Kai Valley Cheap. Worked along very strongly over the concluding stages. Now with Blake Fitzpatrick, the former Victorian. Now having his first start since December 2020 last week, so he will strip fitter up to the 2300 metres. The stand won't be a concern. Very strong behind the tapes is Gus and Murray. He's the only horse off 10 metres. His main dangers are off 20 and 30 metres. So that's a big plus in favour of a fitter Gus and Murray. I think he's certainly worth a gamble in the Bull Eye Trotters Cup. Then over to race eight, and here where's Seggy? Joe Pace trains this particular performer in Victoria. Very consistent type. I think he's going to be well suited by Menangles, coming off some very solid form back home. I think he's definitely worth an investment where Seggy, despite the fact he has drawn wide. But the big factor is here is James Herbertson, who's driving in outstanding form and has been for quite a while, takes the race behind where Seggy. Now, having a look at the strong 12 event program at Melton on Saturday night, where the Australian pacing goal goal bullion will highlight the card with the three year old Colts and Girlings, where Catch a Wave is definitely the one to beat, while Just Hope is the one to beat as far as the Philly race is concerned. Other specials on the card, I thought in race six, number four, Tay Tay, resuming from a spell for Alex Ashman, has been trialling exceptionally well, so Tay Tay, the one for me. And in race seven, Sicario for Brent Lilly and Chris Alford. Now, Sicario has also been trialling in outstanding fashion, which would suggest he's ready to run a bowl race. So they're my thoughts for both Clubman Angle on Saturday night and also the 12-event program at Melton. Until next time around, good punting.